Hello Capricorn. This is going to be a general reading. If you have Capricorn in your chart, Sun, Moon, Rising, or Venus, this reading is for you. This is a general message. So we're going to cover a lot of area. And Capricorn, if you're new to my channel, my name is Renee. Okay, let's get into your energies. Capricorn. Grief. Okay. Grief. I understand that losing something is an opportunity to appreciate it. Now, Capricorn, this may be your energy or this may be someone who's very close to you. But I feel like somewhere, someone's grieving. <laughs> now look at this. At the bottom we have love. I commit to the practice of seeing the good in all things. So Capricorn. I feel like maybe you're struggling in love right now. For some of you, I feel like you're grieving some kind of loss for love. You know, there may be something that you love, some passion that you have. Um, something that was taken away unexpectedly. I'm seeing... Seeing maybe you put a lot of energy in it. And either you or someone close to you is grieving as well. Let's get some more energy for Capricorn. We have trust the universe. So trust the process, Capricorn. Trust the process. We also have friendship and union. So I don't really feel like this love is truly lost because we have friendships in union you know some kind of energy that you're not seeing something is going on that you may not be fully aware of yet so I feel like there may be some kind of reconciliation there may be some kind of way for this to be saved you know um, but I feel very strongly that this feeling of love is not over with. I feel like there's still unfinished business. Maybe just let the universe do its work, you know, and things will start to come back together, reunite. Let's get some tarot for Capricorn. Okay, yeah, we have the Ace of Wands, New Beginnings. Capricorn, new passion, new actions being taken. Wow, okay. <laughs> we have the tower, and right behind it, we have the lovers. What else do we have for Capricorn? Okay, we have the empress. Wow, beautiful energy. We have the death card. The chariot. How many major arcanas can you have? Capricorn. The five of cups. The hermit. Wow. Okay. And we have the... We have the uh, Judgment card and the Eight of Pentacles. Those wanted to come out as well. Okay, at the bottom we have uh, Five of Wands energy. So I feel like, you know, in your energy, I feel like you're, you're defending yourself, Capricorn. You're defending something that you love. You're kind of fighting for this feeling. You're fighting for this feeling not to end. Well... Here's the thing. We have new passion, new focus, taking action. So there may be some sort of action that you need to take, but I, I feel like it's something that you may not have done before. This is something new. This is new energy. 
Um, this is always also quick action. Not just standing by and letting something happen. You're taking action on, on some kind of energy that needs to be taken. You know, we also have the tower. So I feel like this is... This is some kind of upheaval that made you take notice. You know, something had to change. With the tower, these are big changes. These are huge changes. Sometimes it's unwanted change. Um, but I feel like the freedom, I mean, the, the, the tower can either be something that is totally destructed to change into something better or something that is destructed to kind of free you from a situation so that's something that is going to have to resonate with you what what is what does this tower mean to you how does this resonate uh, because i feel like something something had to crumble there had to be some kind of ending because that pushed you into action. That made you kind of see things the way they're supposed to be. But like I said, I don't feel like this love is ending. Whatever this is that you love, this could be a job. This could be a career. This could be physical love. This could be your mate. Um, I, I don't feel like this is ending. Matter of fact, I feel like it's... Kind of recreating with this empress energy i feel like with this empress energy it's being taken care of you know she has the ability to be very abundant because she can manifest she trusts the universe she doesn't lose her focus and she's also quick to take action she's the counterpart of the emperor the emperor is very assertive very respected you know he's a authority figure the empress is is his counterpart you know so she's she's also very abundant she can manifest whatever she desires because she trusts the universe she has that capability. Now, the Empress being in this reading along with the lovers could also mean that someone is expecting or that someone is a mother, someone has children, someone is bearing children. You know, take it how it resonates. But yeah, that's the Empress. She's, she's very fertile uh, to give birth. Sometimes that's giving birth to a physical, but it could also mean giving birth to new ideas, new changes, new perspectives, you know. We also have the judgment card. Wow. Look at this reading. We have the tower, the lovers, the empress, the judgment, the death, the chariot, the, and the hermits. Out of 10 cards, we have seven that are major arcana. This is a very important message that you need to hear. With the judgment card, this is also rebirth. So with, look at this, with the, the lovers, the empress, and the judgment, something is going to be renewed. Some kind of situation is coming back to life, is being brought new life, you know? That, that's why I was steady getting that feeling that this love isn't over yet. This isn't over. There can be a reconciliation in the near future because, I mean, it's, it's just possible. There just needs to be action that, that should be taken. With the death card and the... 
the chariot. I'm feeling like someone needs to transform themselves. Some kind of some kind of personality or action needs to be changed permanently. Maybe they were very fast to lose their cool or they were very fast to make judgment and or or it could be you you know that needs to change that needs to be cut stopped completely and then move forward move away from the past things and move into the future but there's something that need to be stopped something that needed to end Maybe it's pushing away from the past because we also have the Five of Cups right underneath the lovers. So maybe letting go of the past so that you can move into the future will be very, very beneficial. Because, you know, you can't always live in the past. You can't because you're not going to get into your future. You're not going to have anything in your future if you're always living in the past. So letting the past lie with the past is going to bring a much better outcome and I feel like you 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 already know this information with this hermit card you've already gained your wisdom you know what needs to be done and you know what work to do in the situation you know it's gonna take work but you have come to the right conclusions now you just need to take action you need to put your knowledge and wisdom into motion and do the work you know it's not going to fall together by itself someone needs to make the first move someone needs to apologize someone needs to come clean about a situation and then you can move forward into the future now, I wasn't quite sure this was going to be a love reading, but it's kind of moving into that scenario. We have the, the Queen of Cups. So I feel like you or this person was very emotional. You kind of put your emotions on the line. I feel like there could have been a lot of tears that were spilled. You know, she's dipping her toes in the water trying to test the waters. To see if to see if she feels the emotions. And if you notice, she has a cup, but she's protecting that cup. She has her hand over the top. You know? So someone's protecting their feelings. Someone's hiding their insecurities. You know, and someone's very insecure in this situation. I feel like someone is, is really kind of fearful of an outcome. Someone's kind of not able to sleep because their emotions are running so high you know i feel like this person is doing a lot of thinking they're doing a lot of soul searching yeah and they're trying to come to the right conclusion they're trying to make the right choice the right decision but i feel like this person now this could be you or someone else but i feel like they're at a crossroads they're not quite sure with which path to take. What is going to be the best destination? So I feel like they just, they don't make the choice. They don't make the decision. They just give up. Okay, so I'm not sure which way to go. I'm not sure if this person is going to do this. I'm not sure if this person is do that. So I'm just going to give up. I'm not going to do anything. I'm not going to take any action. You know? And that's what that's what needs to be done is taking action. Making the first move. 
taking one small step after the other. You know? Give me more messages, Spirit. Yeah, the, the Page of Pentacles. Someone has a lot of patience. But I, I feel like someone really wants to communicate exactly how they feel. Exactly what they want to invest in. You know? Do they feel value in this situation? Or do they think it's just done? You know? Is it going to be worth them putting more energy into this? Or is it not going to prosper at all? You know, is it just going to be that tower and that's it? You know, we have the Three of Cups. Okay, I do feel there's some kind of reunion. There's some kind of emotions that are supporting each other you know maybe you're going to communicate to support this person or maybe they're going to support you and we have the two of pentacles hmm. I definitely feel, now look at this. We have the Two of Swords, the Two of Pentacles. Choices. Choices and decisions. Priorities. There, there needs to be a choice. There needs to be a choice that is made very soon. Or else it's going to be done. Someone needs to take action. Yeah, the Five of Swords. I, I feel like... These choices are making this person conflicted. They, they don't know which choice to take. They don't know what action to take. They're just kind of in this stuck energy of, I'm not quite sure which way to go, so I'm just done. I'm just over it. It is what it is. You know, instead of taking victory with the situation and picking up them swords and taking your victory, you know, the Five of Swords is conflict, but it's also victory. Because he stole these swords away from the enemy. And the enemy is cowering away in fear. Because he's taken the swords. He, he's taken the only thing that they can use against him. Okay, yeah, we have the Four of Cups. There's a lot of thinking going on. I feel like you are missing this person and they are missing you a lot. There's a lot of thoughts, a lot of emotions. There's a lot of feelings of self-worth, being unfulfilled, not knowing your value. You know, we're going from the Three of Cups to the Four of Cups. So you're going from that supportive situation into feeling like you're not being supported. Feeling like a feeling of apathy, you know, like you just want to be among yourself. You, you no longer feel. The Page of Wands. I definitely feel like communication is going to be key in this situation, especially with the Page of Wands and the Page of Pentacles. I feel like there needs to be an open communication. Someone needs to speak, you know, words into the situation. Um, let the other person know how you feel. Let, you know, them let you know how they feel. I feel like you're both wanting to communicate very deeply, but maybe the first one doesn't want to make the first move. Um, I, I really feel like someone's holding back because they feel like the truth cuts deeper than a knife. You know, someone doesn't want to face the facts. 
they don't want to face the the truth in the situation. But I feel like that's exactly what needs to happen. That's exactly what needs to happen. Okay, let's get some monology cards for Capricorn. Okay, we have a time to give rather than take. So yeah, Capricorn, I feel like this is actually saying that, you know, maybe you need to make the first move in the situation. Maybe you need to give something in order to receive the best outcome that you're looking for. We also have a new start is coming. So definitely, I feel like there can be a reconciliation. There can be a new start in the situation. Um, you just need to take a chance. At the bottom, we have nothing is yet set in stone. So yeah, I feel like this person is caught between their decisions. They're not able to decide. So whatever ending this is, it's not yet set in stone. It's not yet done. So there is a chance for you and this person to reconcile, to work things out. Okay, let's get some manifestation analogy. Okay, we have new moon in Cancer. Relax. And we have speak your world into being. Very interesting. Yeah, and I feel like communication is the key in the situation. But I feel like you need to get your emotions under control. This person needs to get their emotions under control and really speak to each other. Your true feelings, your true emotions, and not bring any negative into the situation. At the bottom, we have reveal what needs to be seen. So uncover those things that are hidden. You know, that's the only way to move through anything is to release. Okay, let's see. Let's get more messages for Capricorn. What do we have for Capricorn? And the five of wands. Yeah. Okay. The justice card. The hermit. We got the hermit again. Okay. The temperance. And the ace of wands. Look, ace of wands there, ace of wands there. There is a new beginning, but the, the new beginning is only available if you take action. Action needs to be taken in order for something new to start. Basically, with the five of wands, I feel like, you know, challenges are going to come and go. Obstacles are always going to be there. But if you gather together and come as a unit, I feel like those obstacles, those challenges no longer exist because you have two minds put together. Two like minds can create success. You know, and I feel like that's what this justice card is saying. Whatever work you put into a situation, this could be work, love, career, whatever. Take it how it resonates. But um, with the justice card, whatever energy you put into something is what you're going to get back from it. You know, if you put love and attention and caring and and empathy into a situation, that's what you're going to get in return. But if you put negative feelings, you know, conflict, chaos, arguing, um, like going back and forth, blame, then that's what you're going to get back. So I feel like Capricorn, you have all this wisdom. You have all this knowledge. Now use your star inside this lantern to follow your path. 
He's being led by his healing. These are by his lessons that he's already learned. So he's taken every one of his lessons, every one of the challenges that he's faced, he's bottled these up into this star. The star represents healing, balance, focus. You know, he's bottled it up and he's letting his past lessons, his wisdom, guide him on his right destination. So you already know the answers to your question because you have your balance. You have your healing. Now you just need to get your focus. Your focus is going to lead you because I know you want harmony. You, you want patience and you have the ability to have self-control so that you can, you know, run towards this new beginning and get your pot of gold. You know, get your abundance, get your happiness, get your ten of, of, of pinnacles. Look at this. We have the empress underneath that. Beautiful energy. We have the empress. Look at this. The high priestess. Secrets being revealed. Something being, you know, told. Trusting the universe. Trusting yourself. We also have the magician. You have every resource that you need at your fingertips to create whatever possibility you want. You're, you're, you have the ability to bring this, these ideas down to earth because you have the swords, the cups, the pinnacles, the wands. You have everything you need. All the resources. Look at this. Two of Pentacles. Choices. That that where that's where it really lies. The choices. There needs to be a decision that's made, and then there needs to be open communication. Communication is key. The Knight of Swords. You know, making your move. Making the first move. Sending your apology. Open communication. That's the only way you get your celebration. Your happiness. Your reunion. You know? Beautiful reading, Capricorn. I hope this has brought you some kind of enlightenment into your situation. Take it however it resonates in your life, if it resonates with you. Um, if so, please like and subscribe. Hit the bell so that, so that you don't miss any further uploads. And Capricorn, if you need more messages, take a look at your sun sign, your rising sign, or your moon sign. Those can give you clarity. And I'll have all of them uploaded by next week. Okay, until your next reading, Capricorn, many blessings to you, love and light.